I grew up thinking that being charismatic wasn't for everyone and that you had to be especially gifted to have charisma. And the way you comport yourself, your physical attraction levels, the way you move, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, all played a very important role in deciding whether or not you had charisma. Basically, you had to look like this. But at some point in high school, after a casual daily observation of just about everybody at school, it was a small school, looking at who the kids with the most influence were and distinguishing them from the kids who had little or no influence, I decided that although dressing does help, it's not as important as the other factors. I mean, we all had a school uniform, so there wasn't that much you could do to stand out within the dress code, of course. But I'm not entirely discounting dressing here. I like to think of it more as the cherry on top of the package that contains the other factors. So pretty much I'm looking at the innate qualities here. I guess I don't need this whole outfit. In my sophomore and junior years of high school, sometimes in English class, we used to play Dungeons and Dragons. If you're not familiar with Dungeons and Dragons, it is a role-playing fantasy game in which players create their characters to play. These characters interact with one another and embark on several adventures, all narrated by the figure known as the Dungeon Master basically the person narrating the story. They're able to make certain decisions based on their special qualities that influence the outcome of the game. I remember being fascinated by the fact that charisma was one of those qualities. Like every character had a charisma score and some had higher charisma score than others, some had higher strength than others, blah, blah, blah. But characters such as the clerks or sorcerers, basically like mystical characters, had very high charisma scores compared to others and that was because of their ability to use spells and charm whoever they interact with to do their will. Fascinating game but I hated playing it at the time although low-key I wanted to be one of the mystic characters because I always like to think of myself as being moderately charismatic. But if you relate this back to real life I think you'll find that charisma is basically the ability to charm people around you to do your bidding or to inspire them for a certain cause. It's almost like magic. And I think that's why a lot of people believe that it is only meant for special people. Not everybody can have that charismatic influence. It is commonly believed that the Apostle Paul was one of the first people to initiate discussion on charisma in his letters to the Mediterranean provinces. But of course, he took a more supernatural route to things, referencing divinely inspired charisma through what was understood in the Greek language at the time as charismata, which also means the gifts of God. So essentially, those who had been chosen by God were the ones with charisma. They were the ones that were able to do amazing things in society. And the wider audience at the time believed that these people were able to appeal to others on a deeper level and inspire them to do what they wanted. And I think that's why there were prophets people of God who had significant influence over the common people at the time. Now fast forward many centuries where the church basically imposed a doctrine that moved a bit away from the idea that charisma was only coming directly from God. It basically established a hierarchy system with bishops at the top and then everybody else below and the bishops were the ones who were able to interpret religious texts and basically convey them to the people. So they had that power. And interestingly enough, this hierarchy system became the widely accepted definition for charisma and nobody questioned it for many centuries. Until the 20th century when German sociologist Max Weber started thinking about things again. He basically took his own thoughts on the subject and related it to his own society based on his own understanding of what he was experiencing. And he offered what is probably the most popular contemporary definition of charisma today. He defined it as a certain quality of an individual personality by virtue of which he is set apart from ordinary men and treated as endowed with superhuman powers. He also goes on to point out that charisma is seen to come directly from above and that those who were perceived in society to have charisma were automatically treated as leaders in society. Okay, this is beginning to sound like a history lesson. Anyway, 
So now, to revisit my earlier thoughts on charisma, I think it makes sense to say that charisma is way more than how you look. But is charisma really not for everybody? I mean, I'm willing to bet that we know of people who have described themselves as not being particularly charismatic previously, but then later on they became charismatic because they had to or it just happened. In my view, people with successful businesses and followings have had to become charismatic, even if they weren't before. And one of the questions I'm struggling with is, if someone can become charismatic at any time, then what does that say about the whole notion that charisma is only reserved for special people? I mean, it certainly does challenge that notion, but I keep trying to rationalize both sides. I mean, you could say that, yeah, well, this person became charismatic because they were always meant to be charismatic. It was just a matter of time before it happened. But I don't know, I'm not too comfortable with that definition or that explanation because it seems like more of taking the easy way out to justify the fact that charisma is only meant for special people, when that might not necessarily be the case. Right now, I'm leaning more towards the thought that anybody can be charismatic under the right circumstances. I mean, maybe it is a scenario dependent thing rather than just a general one size fits all kind of thing. In other words, I think charisma comes out in certain situations and takes a step back in other situations depending on a person's traits and how driven or provoked they are in that moment or for that specific cause. Regardless, one thing is certain and that is that charismatic people always have an effect in society, either in smaller society or just on a larger scale. However, as we have seen many times throughout history, just because one has charisma does not mean it will have a positive impact on society. But that's a whole other conversation for another day. So I don't know what you all think about this, but I'm just going to stop now before I confuse myself even further just thinking about this. There are so many questions and arguments just woven into the fabric of this topic. So this is one that I might have to revisit in the future. But please let me know what you think and don't hesitate to share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below or just hit me up on social media and we'll talk about it and try and unpack this whole thing. Also consider subscribing to my channel for more and liking the video if you did like it. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.